Good morning. Getting ready for my coffee here. The sun shining through. I've got rainbows. Yeah, I love looking at reflections like, you know, there's the glass. Even looking at the sun shining on the water thing. Oh, and of course, there's rainbows. So, I couldn't decide what coffee to have. So, I was looking and I thought, you know what? I'm going to have this vanilla custard pie. And I'm going to put some vanilla skinny syrup in it. Just a little. And we'll see how that does. So today's a kind of special day at my house because... Hey, Grayson, are you tired out from your walk? Today <clears throat> is his one year anniversary with me. I got him a year ago today. He was a little over one and a half years old at the time. He was rescued. And we've been doing a lot of work in the last year to kind of civilize him. I mean, he didn't know how to walk on a leash at all. Uh, as soon as he got a leash on him, he pulled like he was an Alaskan sled dog or something. He didn't know sit or come or any kind of commands. He didn't even know what a treat was. I don't know if he'd ever been given a treat. Um, he didn't know what toys were except for a yellow tennis ball. That was the only toy he knew. He was afraid of most of the dog toys that I presented him with. And I had to teach him how to play with them. You know, I feed him his dinner in... Here, I'll show you. Wait. Huh, good, we're not overflowing. I'm so happy. Okay, so I feed him his dinner in this, and see, it's got a hole in it, and it rolls around, and the food comes out of the little hole, and I had to, you know, he, when he saw it, even though he could smell the food, he was like, you know, sort of afraid of it, and he didn't know what to do. And I had to take his paw and show him that if he batted it, the food would come out, you know, and I'd say, take it, take it. And he got the hang of it pretty quick, but oh my goodness. So this doggy has come a long way. <laughs> Although looking at him, he will put a light on. Hey, Lazy Bones. Are you just waiting for me? Huh? Are you waiting for me? I love the way you do with your eyes back and forth. Yep. <laughs> we took a walk this morning. We took a pretty, well, sort of a longish walk. Sometimes we only go a third of a mile. This morning, oh, we went... 0.78 miles, so more than three quarters of a mile this morning. And it's starting to get hot out there. And being such a large dog, he does get hot easily. So, you know, I try not to get him overheated. So, as you know, he's had, some, besides, you know, the behavioral things that we've worked on and getting him accustomed to living with people, person. Um, 
He's had some medical problems and we still don't know where those are going, but he has been, this time around, he's been off his medicine for about, let's see, this is Friday morning since Wednesday morning, I think was his last dose. And he's still doing okay. So we hope that that all will work out. Yep, still laying there. Oh my goodness. Uh, I know I say this all the time. I Every one of these coffees that I try, I love. And if I don't love them, I find them really interesting. Mm. Well, anyway, so I'm going to sit and spend some time with my gray gray. Mm -hmm. If I go over the couch, he'll jump up there to sit with me. And, oh, that's another thing. When I first got him, he didn't really know how to be affectionate. And I'm a hugger. I mean, people, dogs, you know, <laughs> I don't discriminate. And so I would hug him and I've read that dogs, you know, they don't like that. They don't naturally like that. But I kind of let him know, you know, just with short little embraces and praising him and everything. And he, I remember he got to the point where one day he came and he laid up against me. Oh my gosh, it was the most wonderful feeling. And um, when we are on the couch together, he takes up more than half the couch. Um, but sometimes he'll lay with his head facing away from me because he likes to look out the window. But sometimes he'll lay down and he'll just snug his head up against my leg. Oh, you know, it's, it's really nice having a dog. It really is. Um, especially if you don't have a spouse or kids. And dogs argue with you less, right? So I just show you one more thing. I had ordered this bird feeder. My son-in-law had gotten one and oh my gosh, the birds were just flocking to it. Of course, it took them a little while to discover it, but once they did, oh golly, there's all over it. So I couldn't get the same kind he had because he has his hanging from a tree because it holds like nine pounds of food or something. Plus it's all steel, so it's very heavy itself, even empty. Um, and, you know, I just have those shepherd's crooks outside. So I got one that holds half as much. It's made by the Audubon Society, or it's, it benefits the Audubon Society. It's squirrel proof. There's a squirrel eating food that I put out yesterday. I did a couple of videos yesterday. Um, one of them of birds eating that food there was so interesting. I sat the camera outside on a stand. I just left it right outside on the patio and took a couple of hours of video of birds. And no, what I posted is not a couple of hours. It's maybe it's less than 10 minutes. <laughs> I edited it down, but okay, so like there, all right, I don't want to scare it away. That is, oh my, is it going to go to the new bird feeder? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it'll have to get used to how it works. I have the bird feeder set so that blue jays and grackles and squirrels cannot eat from it. But the lighter weight birds can. And that was a, oh my goodness, I got a mental block about what the name of that bird was. Oh, for, oh a, uh, a tufted titmouse, that's what it was. And this is a gray squirrel. <laughs> oh, and this, Grayson, are you ready to sit on the couch with me? Anyway, so, you know, there's a lot of little joys in life. And 
Sometimes we have to search a little bit to find them, but it's worth it. You don't have to, oh, let me put it in terms of me. I don't have to have some grand vacation or some big expensive gift or, you know, something that in the eyes of other people would seem, wow, spectacular. Just these little things like, okay, up here. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Is a Carolina chickadee with its little black head. Watching my bird feeders and my squirrel feeder and enjoying the dog, enjoying my coffee getting to visit with my grandkids, flowers, the different trees that are around, listening to the birds. I don't know, I guess, you know, I have kind of simple tastes and I enjoy what I have. What did I read some quote about The richest person enjoys what he has. And the person with unlimited money is really the poorest person if they can't enjoy what they have. Well, I'm going to sit with the puppy and drink my coffee. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope that you can find joy and contentment in what you have and not feel that you always have to be striving for things that you don't have. Yeah, you know, it's fine to, to work for things and to, to try to get what in your mind might be better things, but I hope you're not missing the appreciation of what you have right in front of you. God bless.